setting intentions, building habits, sticking to your routines. Sometimes it's just way too difficult for some reason. And maybe it's because you're doing it all wrong. trying to get my life back on track for quite some time now but for some reason I feel like I'm doing something wrong each and every time I used to have very very good routines habits for like some quite a long time a few years back but after I took too much like way too much on my plate I just fell down and never quite picked it up the way I actually wanted to. I decided to try one last time to see if I if I change the way I tackle this, maybe I can actually make it work. So let's jump right in to what I changed this time in terms of how I build these habits, what I do different than I did last times and how it's going. So on to my six week plan on how I've been trying to get my life uh, together. <sighs> my most important goals were to get back to stretching and workouts and to my sleep schedule. The thing is, summer nights here are very bright. It's getting darker now, finally, because it's August. I actually do enjoy those slightly darker August evenings a lot more. As summer, like always, you're gonna stay up late and everything, but I'm actually the kind of person who likes to wake up early. Uh, I like to get a head start to my day. I feel a lot better when I get to that, so that's uh, one of those things too. And then I had like smaller things like drinking more water, slightly trying to incorporate in meal prepping, skincare, hair care, everything else too. But most important things were stretching and workouts because that's what I felt my body needed the most at the moment and uh, I can assure it really was that because I used to crack like a glow stick when I didn't stretch and now it's getting so much better. I did a little deep dive to or not maybe uh, I wouldn't say a deep dive but a little deeper dip into how to build habits, what are the best ways. I've seen so many different tips and tricks in videos and everything to just imagine your best self and start doing it. And if you do it for a month, you're there. But this is exactly what didn't work for me because I'm naturally a very stressed out person and the type of person who has, if I have a lot on my plate, if I have a to-do list that is 20 things long, I don't get to do any of these because I just stress myself out only thinking about them and never get to these. And after reading a little bit about Atomic, Atomic Habits by James Clear, it started to make sense why it doesn't work for me. So the same way I like to now section or like break down all the to-do lists I have to like one bigger task and few smaller tasks per, per day so I feel accomplished by the end of the night and I do get some stuff done. Uh, the same way the first tip is to start with your habits like tiny habits. Break them down. If you're wanted to get to stretching every day I tried to incorporate maybe five minutes first and then later on 10 minutes. I started with 10 because I just enjoy a full body stretch like a little bit longer every morning. That's just my preference but five minutes perfect. If you want to get into workouts maybe don't start with full-on workouts. I didn't. I started with short walks every day 
to just mindfully go for a walk, just move my body a lot more than I would usually do. And uh, this way I didn't shock my body going into workouts. Uh, straight away full throttle like I usually did when my body was uh, hurting by day maybe three four and then I had to stop because all my muscles were sore and I wasn't able to do any workouts anymore tip number two was to use habit stacking so maybe if you're brushing your, your teeth you should meditate or like incorporate something else this was something i didn't incorporate because um i just didn't have any habits that i could do at the same time third and fourth tip for me were quite similar in terms so one is to make it easy for yourself and the other is to design your environment Designing your environment kind of makes it easy for you already. So laying out your workout clothes uh, Because I wanted to drink more water. I fill my water bottles every morning and or evening so I can grab them uh, In the morning. I've started to drink more water when I wake up, which is really great That's one of the th things you can do uh, workout stuff can be outside. I can't leave my yoga mat out because my cats will scratch it up but uh, I do have it in a place where I can see it and to remember or remind myself. Fifth tip was to focus on your identity. Instead of saying I would like to run you say I am a runner but for me, I'm not a runner. I'm not thinking I want to be healthy. I'm thinking I am healthy. I am healthy. I am strong. These are the things I'm already doing. I feel like this is like a mindset change that helps when you're feeling like down and you're like, no, but I'm already that. So I'm going to push through. The sixth tip was to track your progress. For that, I do recommend getting like maybe if you want uh, and if you like journaling. Uh, habit trackers or just print out an easy habit tracker or just write it down put on your fridge or somewhere you can see it and you can fill out all the things I've done it for my notebook my notebook is running out of space I've been using uh, just ticking the boxes on every day I have written out but previously I've actually used habit trackers quite a few times I actually do enjoy seeing my how well I'm doing so uh, but I wasn't doing very well but habit trackers like this I uh, fill in all the places that I did something and it's a way to see how you're doing and other thing I got myself now recently a fitness tracker uh, almost like a smartwatch I didn't want, I'm not a fan of smartwatches, but I like to see how many steps I've taken. I like to log my workouts or stretches or when I go uh, cycle or something, because these are all the things I like to do. This one, I can't track my water drinkage, but it's okay. I didn't want to like download an app for that, but there are apps for, that remind you to drink water. And this brings us to the last and seventh tip that was immediate rewards. So reward yourself after you've done that habit or uh, thing for that you wanted to do for the day. A uh, piece of chocolate or something. I have two things that I also have discovered about myself, how things work out for me the best way. And maybe if you're the same type of person or uh, similar to the things that you for you it doesn't work out if you go at it head-on because you're gonna stress yourself out uh, best ways for me is if I do a weekly review after every week I see what worked what didn't and make changes accordingly and the other very big thing is accountability so I like to tell someone that I'm doing something or I post it on my Instagram stories or somewhere because this way I feel the need to do these things because I promised already. I have this perfect image of myself uh, 
presented to the world and I don't want to lie basically so if I'm gonna be like I'm gonna go for a walk I'm definitely going for a walk I train uh, using Pamela Rafe's uh, YouTube videos and uh, she now I use her app but I used to when I was really into workouts I used to use her workout schedules weekly workout schedules that basically give you um, different YouTube videos for different days for different um, muscle groups and you just can tick off if you've done them, them and I kid you not I was religiously doing them because I could tick off the box that I did it and post to my Instagram stories and this leads us to my six week schedule I scheduled six different weeks where I give myself different habits to start building or add on to already built habits uh, in time or in intensity basically. Week one I started off with drinking water like I had to drink at least one bottle. I have two 600 milliliter bottles so if I drink two it's 1.2 uh, liters of water which is okay for my body but I was okay with drinking just one to start things off. Sleep schedule, uh, bed by 10, wake by 7 and <laughs> now that I'm in week 3 I can already wake at 6.30 and gradual changes to your sleep schedule is the best. You can move it by 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever earlier each like every few days or how you're feeling. A 10 minute stretch once a day which is usually my morning stretch and a short walk just to prep myself for uh, workouts coming on week two and all these things were now in addition to week one if I was able to do them. Now water drinking was two bottles a day and that's what I've kept for now the other weeks too. Week two was workout 15 minutes every other day so I didn't do full-on workouts by Pamela uh, until this week which, which is fourth week just because uh, I felt I needed to prep my body a little bit more by doing more cardio just moving a lot more than I would usually do I was supposed to start working out 30 minutes five times a week plus one long stretch day only on week five and I'm already doing it in week four because the prep made a difference I, I haven't done today's workout I'm planning to do it right after I fil finish filming this video for week five and week six I don't have anything written down here I'm I have to move journaling I have to move my editing schedule and everything so this is just gives you a perspective how I scheduled these things that's why I gave myself more weeks so if something doesn't work out I can move things around a little bit so it's not the end goal in my mind right now it's more how to structure things the way that they work the best so I hope you got something out of this video I mean as much as there are different people there are different ways for you to build up your habits and uh, do things so for me this is how it worked and like I said I touched on the ways it didn't if for you it works to go at it straight on picture your perfect you and just start doing go for it but if not maybe this way it will work if not don't uh, lose hope uh, you can search things up you can definitely see if there's any different ways for that uh, to build your habits to set your routines to get like to actually stick to them uh, I'm just going over a way that worked for me if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and if you're not already please subscribe it helps a lot uh, you can leave down in the comments what type of habits are you trying to build and or would like to build and if you're gonna try out this method or if you have any insight to any other ways 
uh, that could help others or me to build my habits a little better and yeah I think it's uh, all for today and I will see you in my next video bye